G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here, and today we're gonna to take a look at some functionality that allows you to create rules uh, to take action or to automate uh, tasks based on things that happen on list items. So without needing to jump into Power Automate or, or create a flow, we can do it directly from the list itself. We can create new rules when uh, items are added, when items are deleted. Even when uh, values in certain columns change, we can trigger a notification with these rules. So let's dive in and have a look. So I'm on the Microsoft Lists homepage here, and I'm gonna open up this uh, personal expenses app. And you can see there's a number of items here. Now when I select a, uh, a an item, under the automate rule, I've got the ability here to, to create rules and manage my rules. So if I go ahead and, and click create rule, you'll see that there's four uh, existing templates uh, that we can choose from. So when a column changes, notify someone when a column changes or when a value changes in a column, when a new list item is created and also when an item is deleted. Now probably the four main um, things that people want to be notified uh, about when uh, on, on list items themselves. So the first thing we're going to, first one we're going to set up and create is when a value in a column changes so let's select that one and we're actually just taken through this little uh, uh, form here and it's a, a guided experience for us so let's choose the column and I'm going to choose the processed column and I'm going to say right when the processed column is of value yes I want to email Alex so we can say send an email to Alex and let's create that now let's create another rule here that when an item is deleted, I wanna be notified of that. It's my list, I own it, I've shared it with Alex, but if an item's deleted, I wanna get notified. So I'm gonna select me for that and I'll create that. Now you'll also notice we've got the ability to turn these on and off and we can have up to 15 different rules. And when I select this rule, I can change it or down the bottom here, I can actually delete this rule. So both of those rules are now active. So let's go and uh, trigger those rules. So let's change one of these items, um, the, the processed column to yes. So we'll choose the Rode microphone item here. We'll edit the item and we'll now flick that over to yes and we'll save that now. The next one, the AirPods, let's delete that item and we'll have a look at the notification that comes through there and we've now deleted it. So let's now flick over to Alex and we'll open up his email and it usually takes around about 30 seconds or so for this email notif notification to come through. So we'll just sit here and wait for that to come through. Okay, so that now has come through. The notification's been emailed through. Let's click and open, and you'll see that uh, Alex has now been notif uh, notified that that particular item, the Rode microphone, has been uh, has been processed, and the the item has been changed, or the value of that has been changed to yes. Now. Let's flick back to Megan's now, and we'll open up her email uh, inbox here, and you'll see that she's now got a notification because we deleted that, uh, that item in the list. You'll see that she also gets a notification now to let her know that that item has been uh, has been deleted as well. So there we go. Really great way uh, to automate a few of those simple tasks that are, are really common when we're using Microsoft Lists to be notified of a number of different things. Even when even now when values in particular columns change, we can trigger some notifications. So I hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching and. I'll see you next time.